ever wondered about the life of the Mughal prince who was once poised to be the emperor of India, Azam Shah? Born on the 28th of June, 1653, Azam Shah was the third son of Emperor Aurangzeb. His full name, Abul Faiz Qutbuddin Muhammad Azam, was a testament to his royal lineage and the lofty expectations tied to his destiny. Each part of his name held profound meaning, reflecting the power and privilege he was born into. Azam Shah, born into power and privilege, was destined for greatness. Azam Shah was not just a prince, but a warrior, scholar, and patron of the arts. Born into the opulence of the Mughal era, his education was a rich tapestry of military strategy, world literature, and the fine arts. This multifaceted education shaped him into a well-rounded leader, skilled in the battlefield and the courtroom alike. His military training was rigorous, honing his strategic mind and physical prowess. As a result, he was a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield, leading his troops to numerous victories. In parallel with his military pursuits, Azam Shah had a deep-rooted interest in arts and architecture. He commissioned magnificent structures and contributed significantly to the aesthetic evolution of the empire. Appointed as the governor of various provinces, his leadership was marked by prosperity and progress. His achievements in these roles further added to the grandeur of the Mughal Empire. Azam Shah was a man of many talents, a true representation of the Mughal Empire's grandeur. The Mughal Empire was a den of intrigue and power struggles, and Azam Shah was at the heart of it. Born into a world of opulence, he was not shielded from the harsh realities of royal politics. His father's throne was the ultimate prize, and the competition was cutthroat. His own brothers, Azam Shah was a master strategist, always one step ahead in the deadly game of thrones. He formed alliances not just within the empire, but also with foreign rulers. His diplomatic acumen was a force to be reckoned with as he deftly navigated the treacherous waters of Mughal politics. But alliances and strategies can only take you so far in a world where might is right. The ultimate test came in the form of the Battle of Jajo. It was a fight for survival, a fight for the throne. The battlefield bore witness to the clash of titans as Azam Shah and his brothers unleashed their armies on each other. The air was thick with tension as the fate of the Mughal Empire hung in the balance. The battle was fierce, the losses heavy, but in the end it was Azam Shah who emerged victorious claiming his place on the throne of his forefathers. His victory was a testament to his strategic brilliance and indomitable spirit. In a world where power was everything, Azam Shah fought for his rightful place. Behind the grandeur of the throne, Azam Shah had a vibrant personal life. Raised in the opulent Mughal court, he was a man of many passions. Among them, his love for art and architecture stood out. He took great interest in the aesthetics of the Mughal court and played a key role in shaping it. Marriage was another significant aspect of his personal life. Azam Shah had multiple wives, a common practice among the Mughal nobility. These marriages often served political purposes, strengthening alliances and consolidating power. Yet, they also resulted in a large family. Azam Shah was a father to numerous children each of whom played a role in the complex dynamics of the Mughal court. His love for art and architecture was not just a hobby. Azam Shah made significant contributions to Mughal architecture, leaving a lasting mark on the empire's aesthetic landscape. Azam Shah's personal life was as rich and complex as his political one. All reigns must come to an end, and so did Azam Shah's. As the wheel of time turned, the curtain drew on Azam Shah's reign, marking the end of an era. His breath ceased on the 8th of June, 1707, a day that echoed with the silence of a fallen emperor. His demise was not just the end of a ruler, it was the end of a period defined by his influence, his art, his architecture and his battles. The Mughal Empire, once an epitome of grandeur and glory under his rule, was plunged into a swirl of uncertainty and turmoil. The loss of their leader left a vacuum that was hard to fill, a void that marked the beginning of a new, uncertain era.
His death was not just a personal loss, but a monumental shift in the course of history. Azam Shah's life was a testament to the grandeur and complexity of the Mughal era.